Good evening, good evening, have one time today. God is good and God is good all the time. My name is Irma Chair Spirit Divine. We give your word on today. Um, I mean the news on today, short news. Um, this is about immigrant. The location, the program remain active. You know, you, you know, I put out yesterday um with the news about them on the boat, overcrowded. You know, so Ryan G Saints, um, we'll continue sending the immigrant flights to blue states after Florida to recover from hurricane out of damage, spokesperson said. You know, so the state paid one hundred million dollars to charter immigrant flights. You know, now Florida governor Ryan G Saints, you know, programmed to relocate immigrants from Florida to Democrat, you know, stated is set to continue a spokesman for political confirm, you know, so Ryan and his team to help coordinate the flight of 49 immigrants, you know, from Texas to uh, Marta Van, Van Yaw, you know, uh, Massachusetts in order to make a political statement about illegal immigrants and evade, uh, by the day for close voter policy. You know, so they're still looking into their policy because everything is like uh, with these immigrants. Everything has to be in order. You know, I have to come up with something for these immigrants because it's, every, it's all out of control, you know. So the move was widely criticized. You know, it was criticized by Democrats and opened up lawsuits and investigating against the governor. You know, it's so an immigrant, immigration um, policy. We have to start looking at the problem and stop ignoring the problem. So what's going on now is because the problem is being ignored. You know, it was brought to our attention when immigrants show up in, in D.C., you know, New York City, and Montevania. I mean, that was like, what, well, last month sometime. I also agree, also the border policy uh, that required immigrants to wait in Mexico, you know, for the immigration apartment in the United States, you know, so they don't they don't make sense to them come come somewhere for their apartment, and sometimes they get declined and have to go all the way back. You know, it'd be best for them to, to wait in Mexico for the apartment, you know, and then come um, on board. So it would be best for them to wait at the border. Most of the claims get denied and they will have to go back to the country. You know, so the program is active. You, you know, immigration location program will remain active on GOP uh, talking points on immigration and the border policy. You know, so it could open up legal uh, avenues for those transported to receive temporary visa. You know, so Ryan, he did not immediately respond, you know, but good program. It's active, you know. It's it's you know it's it's the program is active. That's good. To border policy, I request that immigrants remain in Mexico for their apartment time. You know, they they all don't need to be coming and piling up at the border when sometimes they're gonna be denied back, and sometimes you be day before your name get called. You know, so let them remain in Mexico. You know, into their apartment time. You know, so you won't have so many, you know, at the border waiting for their apartment. Sometimes their apartment be days or sometimes it, it, it week. And also yesterday I talked about them was um, crowding up on the boat. I also said, uh, let it be limit on uh, how many people get on the boat. You know, because um, yesterday it was just so overcrowded on the boat. You know, and also I had requests that before you line up immigrants on the boat to make sure they have food and water, you know, because you had so many people on the on the boat, and then it also had ten children on the boat. So that means if no, if they didn't have to, if they didn't eat in two days, that means the children haven't ate, ate in two days, you know. So I, you know, you know, so I request that before y'all um shift the um immigrants, you know, make sure um make sure they have food and water on the boat. You know, you never know how long the trip would cost where you're um, locating them at, you know. So, uh, and we also talk about the program is good. They want have this program in, in active, you know. Um, they're, going, they're still looking into the policy, to change the policy, you know, uh, the border policy, you know. And I request that they remain in Mexico until their appointed time. 
you know. Uh, and so uh, they go soon be looking into the border um, policy, you know. So uh, they, they, uh, there was a problem that they were saying it was being ignored. So um, we had to start looking at the problem. So it, it won't be so out of control like it is now, you know, and stop ignoring the problem and what's going on now is because the problem had been ignored. You know, so now we have to start putting all these pieces together. You know, we have to come up with um with um another policy um to work fine for these immigrants. You know, so we have to come up with something that will benefit, and everything has to be in order. You know, so uh, and make sure make sure they have limited uh, immigrants on the boat. You know, because, you know, we have to start looking at all these small details, you know, because everything is just being done and not being done in order. You know, everything has to be done in order, you know, because uh, they had the, the small, you got to realize sometimes the small little details, you know, sometimes have everything out of whack. You know, they had problems back then, you know, all ignored the problem. And now, now you know, you, you got so many on the on the boat trying to escape where they're going, you know, and it's too many. You know, the boat can sink, the boat can tilt to the side, you know, so we have to limit on how many get on that boat. You know, we have to have um food and water on that boat. You know, so uh and um and I request for immigrants to remain in Mexico until your apartment time. You know, sometimes your apartment time into two Days, two, three days later, or sometimes weeks later. So you don't need to come early and be piling up at the border. You know, remain in Mexico until your appointed time, and you will be served. You know, and we're going to try to change this policy, Policy, you know, and everything has to, every small detail has to start being put in order. You know, we, we, we have the small details we, that we ignore, and look how everything got out of the way. You know, so we have to start looking at the details, you know, looking at uh, what caused this to get to get out of whack like that. You know, we have to, the pro program, you know, we have to get the program in order. We have to, we have to get, you know, who going to, how many going to be getting on the boat? How many going to be getting on the flight? You know, you got some flying, you got some getting on the boat, you know, have to be still have to be a limit of flying, a limit on, on the boat, you know, so we, we, uh, and then the immigrants are just being dropped off sometime at, at one time at, at um Washington um DC, you know, it being dropped off in the vineyard, everywhere, you know. So we have to have a destination for these immigrants when they get on a flight, when they're getting on these boats, a destination where they're going, you know, not just dropping them off anywhere, you know, because a lot of them come up missing. And a lot of, you, you know, we have to have a permanent destination where these immigrants is going, you know. So that's all the show news I have for you today. Y'all have a blessed day, and i see y'all on the next video.